It's a water pump and it's based off a centrifugal design. As the semester at UBC Okanagan wound down, first year engineering students sort of geared up. They were dressed in their best, presenting intricate designs to a panel of judges who were looking at how innovative and marketable their projects are during the annual Engineering Student Design Showcase. Students were given a choice of three different themes, creating a device to make everyday living easier for an elderly person, a make space project where they were tasked with transforming a non-teaching space on campus into a teaching space or to create a personal cart where homeless people could store their belongings. I think this is a snapshot of what a, a real engineer will do in real life in a very short version. We would like to believe that these engineers in future would be not only clever but very kind, not only familiar with machineries but being touched by humanities. This is the type of engineers we need in this era to make positive and profound changes in their community, country and around the globe. The showcase put to the test the need for engineers to be able to see a need, conceptualize a plan and now with 3D printers create a demo type model which becomes a tangible almost usable version of the idea that was once just that, an idea. My belief is engineers are frontier in our society solving problems. Profit is one P and we have two other P's, planet and people. And if we don't focus on these two, it doesn't matter how much profit you make. You don't bring the joy into the society. We've created a personal belongings cart. It's to help the homeless population in Canada. Our main feature is we have an electric generator in the two back wheels so that when you're pulling it, it, it generates energy that can power a small heater or LED lights inside the cart or charge a cell phone. This is our generator assembly, which is located in the rear wheels of our personal belongings cart, as you can see here. This works because we've got magnets arranged all around the outside of this. This one is just a mock-up to show how it would work. They're arranged in a north-south pattern, which allows for the generation of an AC current. This design allows us to have a fixed central rotor with the outer casing, which is, contains the bearings, to rotate around it. This keeps all the electronics in the center stationary, which means we have a very reliable and durable product. It starts off by being a stand for a phone. You can put your phone down for seniors, you can watch uh, videos and television, you can even chat with your family. When you open this pin, uh, you can actually hook it here, and then you can put any sort of weight on here and it will hold. I think most of us, the fear of doing something is the number one barrier. And in this, I would say, snapshot of engineering, they realize they can do it. If they can do this in this level next year and the year after and fourth year, they can do much more. This is almost giving them audacity of hope, which I believe. From Kelowna for Shaw, I'm Tammy Williams.